Hi, David Abonic Turtle, continuing the series on CFA Level 1 Technical Analysis. This follows the introduction to technical analysis. And here we look at one of the two basic chart patterns. The other one is continuation. These are reversal chart patterns. And very briefly, head and shoulders, probably the most popular reversal chart pattern. Two key things that are not shown on the slide. And the first is that these patterns occur in the context of trends. So the first thing about the head and shoulders that we want to see is evidence of a visible upward trend because the upward trend is getting reversed by the pattern into a new downward trend. So upward trend, pattern reverses into a downward trend. Second thing we can't see here is volume. Volume would be considered important. And again, is that second indicator along with price to provide either confirmation or divergence. So in the case of the head and shoulders here, although volume would be high in the case of the upward trend, the volume would be diminishing here as we get to the head and to the right shoulder. In that sense, the higher price is not being confirmed by higher volumes. Rather, lower volumes are not confirming the higher price and giving evidence to this reversal pattern. And so we've got an upward trend into a left shoulder here. We could say it's bouncing at 30 back down here and bouncing back up at what is called the trend line. Under this scenario, the trend line would be $25. Bouncing at this bottom up to a new, new top of $35 and recall, the key idea about volume here is we would not be getting high volume as confirmation here. So that in that 35 falling back down to the neckline of $25 and then a right shoulder and uh, this illustrated here at parity of the left shoulder, but it could be lower as well. And then we could get higher volume here, or at least in some, some interpretations, the head, this head and shoulders would see the volumes jumping back up because now we would be getting confirmation into a downward trend. And so we've got a head and shoulders pattern that is reversing an upward trend here into a downward trend. The price target under the one approach would be to take the neckline of $25 and subtract the difference between the head and the neckline, which here is $10. So we've got 25 minus 10 is 15. And so that would be an approach to setting the price target once we've determined that we're, um, uh, we're, that we're seeing a head and shoulders pattern. The inverse head and shoulders is also a reversal because this time what needs to first be in place is a downward trend. And then this pattern is going to reverse it into an upward trend. And similarly here, the volumes would be decreasing here so as to not provide the confirmation of the downward trend. And similarly, the price target here can be set as the neckline of 35, but this time adding the difference between the 35 neckline and the 25 head or $10 to set the price target of $45. But again, it's a reversal of a downward trend, lack of price confirmation, and sending the price into a, into a new trend, which is upward. And then just the double top of variation here. This time there's no head, but a bounce at 50 back to a neckline of 48. Bouncing back up to a second top, hence the double top of $50. And then finally that pattern reversing the upward trend into a downward trend. And here just one approach to setting the price target would again, this is analogous to the um, head and shoulders taking the neckline of 48 and subtracting the difference here between the top and the neckline of $2, price target 46. And the double bottom, same idea here. What do we need to have in place first for this reversal? That would be a downward trend. Neckline of 48, we're bottoming at 46, rallying back up to the neckline of 48, bouncing back down to the second bottom of the double bottom, 46, and bouncing back up and breaking out of the neckline. In this case, the price target could similarly to the inverse head and shoulders take a neckline of 48 and add the difference between the neckline and the bottom of 46 or $2. 48 plus 2 is 50. So we're predicting here on evidence of the double bottom 
pattern that will reverse the downward trend, we might predict that the breakout will be to a new price target of $50. So that's just four of the typical reversal chart patterns as opposed to continuation. They reverse trends. This is David Abonic Turtle. Thanks for your time.